Yo, what's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, First Class 305, coming at y'all with the video I said I was going to come at y'all with this time around to let y'all know what I'm pissed off about. Um, yo, first and foremost, look who's here, man. It's my baby. It's my baby, Cheech. I kiss my doll like white people do. No offense to the white people, but y'all know y'all really the ones who be doing that. I used to talk shit about people who do it all the time. And I do it too, you know what I'm saying? Yo, and she, she may look cute, but she's mean. You see this shit? Yo, she's mean. Ah, she got me, bitch. <laughs> uh, but whatever. Anyways, let's get to, let's get down to the to, to business. Um, the reason I'm pissed off is because uh, y'all already know I was working on a deal for the Space Jam 11s, uh, size 11. I told y'all scoop those up for 325. Uh, from uh, a, a cat on ISF. Excuse me, because I got dog in my mouth. Whatever. It's a dude on ISS. Uh, dude's screen name on ISS is what is it? Shit, Hype Beast Forty Three. I should already know him better just based on the screen name. I was bugging out. I just, you know, what I'm saying I'll give everybody a chance. Um, but the homie said that you know it's it all gonna be official. Yada yada yada. This isn't in third. He fed me all the bullshit and so forth and so on. I sent the money two minutes after he agreed to my offer. And two minutes after he got my money, it's already sitting in his PayPal account. This dude hits me back to tell me that I'm going to have to pay $235 for them because I, uh, what was it? I have to pay $230, I have to, three, three, excuse me, I have to pay $335 for them because he has numerous people hitting him up about the shoe. So now that he has traffic on the shoe, now he wants to charge me an extra $10 so he doesn't feel like he's taking that much of an L by selling them to me for, for $325. So that already pissed me off. I told dude, you know what? Matter of fact, give me my bread back. We ain't got nothing to talk about. It's done this over. So, you know, and he was like, no, but this is in the third. Just send it to me when you get the sneakers, so forth and so on. This was on the 23rd of May, mind you. So 23rd of May comes and goes. Everything is kosher, I guess. I mean, I'm like, you know what? He said he's going to send me the shoe on two. On, oh, he told me he's going to send me the shoe on Thursday. Uh, Thursday comes up, he texts me early in the morning telling me, hey, I'm not going to be able to do it today. I got school. This is in the third. I'm going to try to get it to you by Friday. Friday came and went. He didn't text me back. I was like, you know what? I'm going to let him live because at the end of the day, I know it's a holiday weekend and people like to go on vacation. I like to do their little barbecue, go to the beach and so forth on uh, Memorial Day. So I kind of let him live on that one. Then come to find out, um, he hits me up on Sunday and tells me, yo, I'm going to send them out on Tuesday, bright and early, so forth and so on. So, you know, I'm like, that's what's up. Thank you. I appreciate it. You already know how I am. I'm very cordial with people and so forth and so on. So I didn't think it was going to be a problem. But it did end up being a problem. Yes, you heard correct. It did end up being a problem. And why did it end up being a problem? Because this dude hits me back, literally hits me back to give me the dumbest, weakest excuse I've ever heard in my fucking life, bro. Like, real talk. I'm not even playing. I, you know, a lot of sneaker fiends. I'm dead serious. This dude comes to me and he tells me, yo, I can't sell you the shoes anymore because I gave them to my friend for his birthday. Just give a moment so I can let that, let that marinate. Get your brain. Bust that open right quick. He can't sell me the shoe anymore that he got the money for like six, seven days ago for because he gave it to his friend as a birthday gift. Yeah, you know, you're right. For a birthday gift. I'm pissed off because this dude made me waste my time. He held money, pocket my, my pocket money, because that was actually money for me to spend during the week. He held my money, wasted my time, and then he has the audacity to lie to me, though. like, yo, who am I? I am not your mother, nor am I God for you to have to sit here and lie to me. If you say you don't want to sell me the shoe, just tell me you don't want to sell me the shoe. Don't try to feed me these nonsense excuses that you gave it to your friend for his birthday gift. Unless you and your homeboy are, you, you know what I'm saying? Listen, that's your, whatever your sexual preference is, I ain't got no problem with it. I got gay friends, there ain't no pressure. Some dudes I went to school with, they found out that I'm not homophobic, there ain't no pressure. But let's be real, man. Like, let's be real. Don't feed me the bull crap, man. So that really irked my spot. So I'm just out here, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to air him out uh, and let y'all know exactly what it is just in case you deal with this dude because this dude is definitely full of shit. 
um, his his business practices are super super unethical. Um, I find it offensive even that somebody will sit here and feed me the bullshit like I'm fucking six years old and expect me to buy that. You know what I'm saying? They 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 selling the bullshit and I ain't buying it. Uh, but it is what it is. Like I said, his name is Hype Beast, regular spelled together 43, uh, and he also goes by Hype Beast 21, both on Soul Collector. So if you want Soul Collector, definitely be on the watch out for this dude, cause this dude is garbage, and he definitely doesn't uh, do business on the up and up. I'm also gonna shoot y'all his number. Please don't prank call the dude, because I ain't out here to waste nobody's time on some prank call shit. I just want y'all to know it and have it in future. I have it in your your roller decks, your mental roller decks, just in case you get uh, just in case you get a text message from this cat, cause you're selling something on the Soul Collector, something like that. Dude's name, uh, dude's phone number is seven zero three. 850-0277 is his number. Once again, 703-850-0277 is his, is his number. Um, like I said, his name goes by Hype Beast 43 or Hype Beast 21. Uh, dude's full of shit, straight up. Got me irked out. But um, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't cry over spilt milk. I still, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to find a pair. I'm actually bitten on a pair right now, so it's no pressure. Uh, so that's why I was pissed off. Thank you for letting me. Thank you for lending me your eyes and your ears so y'all can hear me talk a little bullshit. Um, but onto something that y'all might wanna actually fuck with. I'm actually deciding to definitely put these up for sale now. The Bread Elevens. You already know what it is. These are the CDP joints. Hold on a second. These are the CDP joints. Y'all see that? I'm definitely gonna razor up the the inside because it's for the sock liner. Minimal. Blemishes, all those blemishes there are actually blemishes that come off. Y'all see that already? It already came off. Hold up. There you go. Now we intake 80 land. Y'all see that? All of that, most of that comes off. They're actually in pretty good shape. No soul separation at all. Uh, this shoe is, is this shoe, the right shoe is actually the better shoe. Like I said, all that's going to come off. I'm definitely going to take all that off. That's not uh, dirt or anything. That's just, you know what I'm saying? You don't wear a shoe, you don't wear a shoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to get all that off of there. But I'm going to go ahead and clean these up today. Uh, this is the shoe that has a couple of imperfections. That's not so, no, that's not so separation. Uh, this one also has a little bit of, uh, you know, the, 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 excuse me, the patent leather is a little bit off. Uh, this one has the, mo the, the little scratch that I showed y'all before right there. And then the other one right here that happened at the, ble at the, at the bleachers. No, like minimal super I don't even call that heel drag I just call that normal wear uh, cause it's not really heel drag it just took away from that softer smoother texture of it y'all see that it's not you know what I'm saying deformed or anything like that I'm a big dude but I don't walk like a fat guy I don't drag my feet nigga I ain't that lazy I don't pick up my fucking feet my mama told me how to walk <laughs> but whatever she was in, in, in dope it, she was in pretty good shape you know what I'm saying considering how many times I won cause I really did get my money's worth out of these joints I uh, definitely got my money's worth out of those joints. Um, but I saw a pair on eBay of, uh, uh, he called them NDS. I don't like to use that phrase because that's absolute bullshit because there's nothing near dead stock about that pair. Um, it is a definite used shoe, but at the end of the day, if you're in a sticky game, you already know what it is. You got to pay to play. Um, but those, I, I, I do show the pair on eBay where th there's so, there was soul separation on this side of the shoe because this is where the 11s are notorious for soul separation right here uh it has soul separation here it had a gash right here on the on the back of the shoe like right around there you know my fingers are so i was giving my dogs uh carrots and look what my finger look like looks fucking yellow whatever um actually no no no. that's from string cheese i was eating string yes i'm a grown-ass nigga and i eat string cheese got a problem they got like string cheese real talk what you gotta say about it? Say something. Say something, nigga. Say it again. You already know that. Pinky, nigga. It's pinky, nigga. Um, <laughs> but this joint right here. Uh, oh, there's a small blemish. Let me get that too. Small blemish on the uh, patent leather right there. Like I said, all that right here is not stains or anything like that. That's That'll all come off. You'll see that. It's just not shiny because I didn't uh, use the unscented lotion like I used to clean all my, all my 11s. Uh, there we go. It's a lot better now. You know, like I said, it just needs to be buffed out. Definitely go ahead and take care of that right now, actually, as soon as I'm done with this video. Another little uh, blemmy blem right around here somewhere. 
It's somewhere around here. Yo, I gotta clean. I gotta wash my hands. And I said I wash my hands after I finish eating the cheese. Whatever. Um, you already see the the 23 is off the back, but you know, it is what it is. If you gonna wear these with a dope pair of jeans, you definitely gonna be breaking necks anyways. So it ain't no pressure. A little small imperfection right there. Yeah, right there. Um, but that's basically it. Letting these go for 190. Um, they like I said, I, I saw a pair sell today. It actually sold no, it's not today. It was two days ago. Um, because two days ago would have been Monday. So they sold on Monday for 265. I'm not even bullshitting you. They sold for 265. And we're talking about with all those imperfections, the soul separation. Uh, this right here was coming off. You had like little stragglers coming off on, on here. Uh, you know, you had soul separation here. They had a deep crack in the carbon fiber. I don't even know how the hell he managed to do that. Mine's got like a little chip of the carbon fiber, but it ain't nothing major. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't even see it. But those were in horrible condition, and he he labeled them NDS, and he actually sold them. He sold them for two sixty. He sold them for two sixty plus fifteen dollars shipping, so it ended up at two seventy five. He got for that shoe. I'm not even bullshitting you. I don't know what people thinking nowadays, but somebody paid two seventy five for a shoe that was so separating. Somebody must really fucking love Elevens and needed that pair ASAP in their collection uh, to beat up on. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do 190 shipped on those. I know I had it up for 160 before, but you know, after hearing my wife riffing me and bitch at me and complaining about how I'm, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm saving, I'm just taking losses on too many sneakers because I'm taking ill losses on a lot of pair of sneakers. And at the end of the day, it's only so long I could keep getting hit over the head, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but as far as that pair goes, that like I said, 190 parcel, East Coast or West Coast, I don't care. It's gonna be 190 uh, on those joints you know, uh, to get those is, in your hands. Waste too much, too much more time. Oh, those have the half of the CDP box and all that. And also, I'm letting these joints go right here. Copper foam posit ones. You already see what it is. This shoe has zero blemishes. That's dust because this shoe was sitting hard body. Zero heel drag on that at all. These joints have been worn two times, three times literally, because I just broke them out uh, on Friday for the Iverson release. This shoe has zero imperfections. When I tell you zero imperfections, the only imperfections that the only reason I'm gonna call these VNDS is because the Nike the Nike symbol came off of the inside of the shoe. But you know what? I don't give a shit about that because nobody sees the inside of my fucking foot anyways. Uh, no yellowing right there. I mean, you got the the age yellowing, but I'm talking about like you know that piss yellow. Uh, something inside that shoe right there that i gotta go ahead and take out i'm definitely gonna go ahead and prep these two with my little secret my little secret ocean the weapon to clean icy soles baby uh but this shoe is definitely in immaculate condition only reason i'm selling that shoe is because i need a size 11. uh it's not because i need the money it's not because i'm trying to trade anything i'm not trying to trade shit. so please don't get at me with the bullshit. i had some dude offer me some cough drops before no offense, but cough drops are whack. You can't compare pearl foams or even copper foams, especially not copper foams. To, you know what I'm saying? You can't. They don't, they don't even. You can't even hold the candle with with with, uh, with cough drops. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just what it is. You can't sell me a shoe that was on, on Nike clearance rack for, you know, try to trade me for some some joints that flew off the racks. Uh, but it is what it is. The range on those, honestly, because I need a size 11. I'm not even gonna sit here and bullshit y'all. I need a size 11, and the price range that I see is. 350 to 375 so what i'll do is i'll keep it at 360 um and keeping it at 360 what i'll be able to do is if i do end up getting them for the lower end of that i have no problem ask nightcrawler uh that you know we've had me and him done business before and i've refunded money back to him because i didn't use it all uh so you know i definitely do that with everybody i'm stand-up guy i'm not out here to make money off nobody i just really need a dope pair of sneakers and i really love that shoe that shoe is my favorite pair of phone posits ever galaxies hey coppers are in the building uh but i need a size 11 if you want to go ahead and do the homework and try to find a size 11 um and scoop them up and trade them because you need a size 10 and a half you can do that too that's no pressure for me you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm gonna do 360 shipped on those. Also come with the OG box and all that OG shit. Um, and that's that, you know what I'm saying? I just really wanted to vent with y'all. I wanna talk a little shit and show y'all what I really wanna get rid of um, for whatever reason. <clears throat> but on that note, I'm not gonna take up too much more time. It's your boy First Class 305. I'm out your ears and I'm out your face. I'm chucking up them doses. Salute to the sneaker feed.